the rules. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the cage with a record of one win and one defeat. Representing one MMA Academy, Joe Chu! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He enters the cage with a record of one win. Proudly representing SR MMA, Zanon Your referee for this bout, Mr. Liam K. Referee Mr. Liam K about to get this one underway. Three three minute rounds should they need them in the FCC amateur bantamweight division. Joe Chu in the black with red and white trim. Zaman Al Islam in the solid black. And they are underway. Yeah, Zaman typically fights with a lot of pressure. Darshan in there, grabbing that double unders, turns into one overhook, underhook there. Wrestling for position against the cage here. Often we'll see these positions crucial in the early rounds here, Brad. Joe Chu's got his man right where he wants him there in front of the One Academy corner. Of course, Ooh. Petra Menga, head of the corner team, the former FCC professional flyweight champion, one of the finest flyweights this country's produced over the past 10 years. So a strong corner team there, an equally strong corner team for Al Islam as well. He's got former Cage Warriors champion Jack Cartwright over there barking instructions, but it's an early takedown from Joe Chu nonetheless. Yeah, in full guard here, keeping head right atop of Zaman's head, making sure to keep the hips heavy, control this position, start to open up some ground about, and hopefully Zaman kind of committed to that body lock there, which kind of helped that takedown for Joe. But he's got to be active here from the bottom, find a way back to the feet, looking for wrist control. On the left arm there, Joe doing a good job slicing there past the half guard, nice work, wrapping the legs there as well. Yeah, great work from Joe Chi there. It's be interesting. Oh, Ooh, nice sweep elevation. there from Al-Islam. Doesn't come out on top, though. Yeah, still on top. We'll see where this scramble ends up here. Trying to sweep it out on top of Zaman. Nice work there. But Joe still fighting. Nice job. Takes full mount there as well. Nice quick work. Nice recovery from Joe, though. Digs back. Mad scrambles in the early offing full. of this one. Yeah, nice work there. Now positional reverse completely. We've got Zaman. Sitting in that full guard, no man has been able to posture up, getting the ground a pound off at the moment. Joe looking to set something up now, he's very flexible. We've seen that in his previous fights, looking to set that triangle up here, real high guard. Let's see if he can get any wrist control, bicep control, he's fighting for it. Zaman keeping that left arm tucked underneath, a little dangerous there, Brad. Well, we know anyone who's training with Jack Cartwright on the daily is going to be very, very strong in terms of the wrestling. So you've got to believe that Al Islam is going to be comfortable in this position, but he's got to be careful here. Yeah, that left leg is over the shoulder now. He's locking this up, cutting the angle nicely. Nate maybe needs to cinch that up a little bit, lock the knees in a little closer, get that foot right under that right knee. Now oh, switches to the, the triangle armbar. Arm bar. This is Ooh. tight. Al Islam trying to rotate the arm. Joe really stretching him out here. Tons of pressure. Again, that that left foot, if that tucks up a little bit under that right knee, that might be a little tighter here, Brad. It's not a great position to finish. And Zaman getting his legs involved here, stretching him out. It's going to alleviate some of that pressure. He might be able to end up on top. Look at this. Great work from Zaman Al-Islam there. In top of north-south position, looking for a, a dart. Oh, he's in on it. Some modified guillotine. Trying he's going to try and walk around, but ends up with Joe Chu on top. And this is tight. Yeah. He's right oh. under the neck there. He's trying to elevate, trying to stack, get that pressure off, doing his best, reaching down now, trying to break the legs apart. Loosen up that full guard. He's got this tight, not often we... Oh, end of the round. Not Saved often. by the yeah. bell there, Alex. It's not, it's not easy to finish that choke from that position. Obviously, he rolled into it, set it up there from the sprawl position. And we've seen Charles Oliveira in the UFC get, uh, get dust chokes from that position. But great first round, very back and forth. Absolutely. And, you know, we're talking about three three-minute rounds here. So the action does tend to come thick and fast, especially in the first when these guys are hyped up. They're the first fight of the night. Both guys have got a significant amount of support here in Bolton Arena. That was mad scrambles from bell to bell. Back from bell to bell, they're both very confident in their jiu-jitsu. There was no effort from either man to return to defeat immediately. Very happy to be down there. I know Joe's got great flexibility. We saw that he way through that high triangle up there, really cinched it in. Looks very composed in the corner as well. Deep breaths here. But yeah, it's all to play for still. I mean, I, I don't know who you give that first round to. Maybe Joe for the initial takedown? You know, I. I really wasn't paying attention in terms of scoring <laughs> for that it's one hard. because there was so much going on. I mean, you know, from the commentary booth, we can always try and give an idea, but 
We'll leave the scoring to the professionals, especially for rounds like that. Yes. Yeah, not much action on the feet there. We saw Joe kind of push the pressure early, back him up to the cage, able to get that body lock, which ended in the takedown. So we'll see if Zaman tries to hold the center a little bit here, coming out for the second. I think there might have been a slight delay there. There was no 10 second clapper between rounds and the referee had to go over and just check with the timekeeping team what was going on there. So it does look like they were out within the minute though. So no harm, no foul. But look, one of the big takeaways for me from that, uh, that, that time out between rounds there is the fact that both of these guys look like they've not taken a deep breath yet. No, no, they both look relaxed. That was a nice job by Zaman, just dashing straight and grabs the body lock. He's got one underhook here. Joe's really digging with that left arm that's kind of present, preventing the, the level change for the takedown right now. Oh, beautiful job. Turns him right over. Top position once again for Joe. Yeah, lands in a nice half guard position there, it does Joe Chu. One win and one loss on the record so far, so he's looking to put his uh, balance into the positive here. Ooh. Yeah, we saw Zaman elevate with those butterfly hooks at the start of the first round. Looking to do the same there. Joe able to keep his balance, get his hips back down. Just pressure from Joe from this position. I see one half of tonight's main event, Tom, the Viking Crosby taking in the action here from cage side. He'll be competing for the vacant FCC professional bantamweight, uh, welterweight title rather, later on tonight. If Tom Crosby makes bantamweight, that would be... Uh, <laughs> we'll have to see that one. Maybe if he shaves off the, the moustache, right? <laughs> There's a few oh, may maybe a limb too. Beautiful work from Zaman there, again showing the same level of flexibility, trying to cinch up this triangle here. He's got his own arm stuck in a little. Needs to get that right leg across the back of the neck. Right now, it's right down the spine. Needs to come across at an angle. He's got to get his hand free. Looks like the gloves are There we go. Now, going to pull on that left leg. Try and get that ankle right underneath. Beautiful basics here from Zaman Al-Islam. Looking to pull down on the head there. Ooh, good work from Joe. He's strong here. He's on his knees, though. Get back to the toes. There we go. Stacking will help. Zaman's committing to it. Doesn't really have an angle, but this might be enough here, Brad. It might be, we can't tell how tight it is. Joe seems calm. Yeah, Chu looking really, really calm here. Oh, he's turning the angle now though, Brad. This is gonna get a little tighter here. Well, one, one thing that Islam doesn't have here is the arm pulled across. So yes. there's a little bit of breathing room there for Joe Chu. You're very right, not committing to pulling that across the neck. Trying to tighten that angle up again. Yeah. Isaman al-Islam. And now Zaman's probably going to hunt this for as long as he can, but it, it will get a little bit tiring after a while here to just keep this cinch position with the legs. So we'll see if Joe can fight through it. Now the arm is in there a little more, Brad. And now in terms of what the judges are looking for here, this is absolutely effective Ooh. grappling. Even if Joe Chu isn't in danger of getting finished here, ah. which he might be. But he's getting those legs involved there to prevent him stretching out that arm bar, which is nice work from Joe again, showing that flexibility. Got a leg in there, stopped him from converting that triangle into the arm bar. And now we're in again one of these weird scramble positions where they're just trying to fight. Nice work comes out on top. Little battle rolling straight through. So Mar ends up on top position here. But it looks like the triangle is, is coming from the bottom as well, Brad. Oh, he's going to slip his head right out here. It's way past the ears already. Let's see if Zaman, he's got the legs stuck there, so he's not going to be able to come out in side control, but. I mean, who knows where these guys are going to end I up. I know, the right? Have been crazy. absolutely crazy but from bell to bell here. Both confident in the jiu-jitsu. Zaman trying to step over, take the back. And we go to a third round. Phenomenal stuff. I mean, both these guys have, you know, come pretty close to getting some uh, dangerous finishing positions here. Who knows who's up on the judges' yeah, scorecard? It's, it's hard to tell. Submission attempts from both men in both rounds. And again, Alex, both guys looking like... Yeah, they're not breathing too heavily here going into the yeah. third frame. So hopefully we're going to see a third round that mimics the second and yeah. first in terms of the amount of action. Yeah. You've got to think at this level, sometimes, you know, the, the stress of a, a firefight on the feet can, you know, add to that fatigue. It's a grappling exchange. Both guys seem confident. It might be calming them down a little, They're able to reserve those gas tanks. I mean, both of these camps are known for great grappling prowess, and there's some heavy hitters there too. You know, Menger always had great boxing. Jack Cartwright, we've seen knock guys stone dead in the cage. So both these guys are going to be well prepared wherever this goes. And look, maybe the corners are in that position now where they're saying, do we try and keep this standing for yeah. the third round and, uh, and and try and come out on top in that yeah. facet of the game? Yeah, and Joe got the takedown in the first, so Marlon committed to the body lock in the second, maybe worried about being in the same position. So it's fairly even here, we'll see as they come out for the third. We saw Al-Islam's corner there, trying to 
raise the spirits in the crowd, trying to yeah. get the fans behind them, man. That was a beautiful right hand. Yeah, he's committed to it three times in a row now. Joe making the reach, trying to carry the left hook. Nice straight right there. Clips him on the way down. Going to cinch up that beautiful choke. Attack in the neck there. Looking for a Das, maybe. But Zaman ran him to the cage. Great job on the knees, though. Trying to finish a double leg. The hips are low enough. Let's see if he can suck him out. It looks like he's just about to grip the hands there, Brad. Chu trying to create as wide a base as possible yeah. here to prevent the takedown, but it may be a matter of Ooh, when he's dug that under hook. if he could get that. Looks like he's digging that through. He was attacking Nakamura initially. Looks like Zaman's going to switch to the single leg attack here. Try and pull that right leg of Joe between his own legs, step to the outside of it, but we'll see. There we go, Joe, foot on the outside. Good defense for the single there. Now fighting the wrist. There's that Kimura attack again. And he can use this as a great position to, to reverse off the cage, to threaten, to sweep, land on top. We'll see how much he commits to it. You hear Jack Cartwright mm. there saying to try and get to Joe Chu's back. Good job. Stuff in the head by Joe. And Demands coming up a little bit now. Hips are still in great position. Look at him working for this takedown, Joe. So defiant. Giving up the knees, but he's not fully completed it yet. But there's the back one hook in, Brad. And that's exactly what the corner were calling for. He's going to look to step over into top position now. If he can pass that guard, this could be dangerous, Ooh. but it's a reversal wow. from Joe Chu. Oh, man, he, he really had great hips there, Joe, to sit up from that position. It looked like he was going to end on, uh, get his back taken, but ended on top, back in this full guard, now smothering the face, trying to create problems with the breathing patterns there. And a little bit of ground and pound from Joe now. Yeah, it's the first time we've seen either of these guys go for any significant ground and pound. So, again, maybe Joe Chu trying to change things up a little bit in the third and final round, but he's got his hands full on the ground with Zaman Al-Islam here. Yeah, yeah, and this is key if you want to take this third round, having top position right here. Looks like he's going to step over to take the back himself. He's got one hook in, go for the second body triangle. Nice work by Joe. But Zaman's going to end on top, maybe. No, chasing Hunt into the back there, using that right arm to come out. And now full back position. Zaman looking to stand up. Will Joe slip over? That body triangle's keeping him on there, that's tight. He may look to come off the top with an armbar there, but no, he's flattening his man out. Oh, heavy shots from Joe. Zaman desperate to take this back to the feet. You see the right leg of Joe, the ankle hooked in on that thigh of Zaman. That's what's keeping him on in place right now. And he's able to land good shots from here, just framing off from the mat. These are to the side of the head on the equilibrium. Oh, great job controlling the wrist from Zaman. Hopefully he can find his way back onto top position from here. Yeah, that's going to be some significant striking output there in terms of what the oh, judges Abba. are looking for. End of the round. Saved by the bell. Close fight to get us started here tonight. Yeah, the first round was pretty much a saved by the bell situation. The third one could have been as well. The second round was very even. I do not envy our judges in this contest whatsoever. But look, let's give credit to Joe Chu and Zaman al oh, yeah. They came out here, left it all in the cage. Frantic pace in this first bout here yeah. at FCC 28 as we await the judges tallying their scorecards. I haven't got a clue, Alex. I don't know what you're Well, thinking. I mean, I will say it was very interesting for both guys because there's very little margin for error in a fight like that. The submission attempts came thick and fast. You had to keep your eyes open, reverse when you could, retake top position. It's going to be tough. I think the ground and pound from Joe Chu wins the third. He got that takedown in the first. I would probably lean towards Joe in this one, but I wouldn't be surprised if it goes either way. His coaches seem to think he's taken it and done enough tonight. But uh, a good performance, good test from both guys. You know, not much striking like you said, but these grappling exchanges, you know, ground and pound is a part of it. You've got to stay vigilant. Look out for those submission attempts. Both guys very flexible, attacking triangles, attacking arm bars, rear naked choke attempts, DAS attempts, every position. Which way in that, Brad? You know, it's certainly what we not what we would expect from uh, an amateur fight 10 years ago in the UK. The level of these guys now is absolutely insane. The judges have tallied their scorecards, though, so we will throw it to our man in the cage, Mr. Ronnie Rollins, with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout, following a majority decision, Joe Chu! Joe Chu with a majority decision there, so the nod on two judges' scorecards. Uh, I mean, a draw seems mm. a fine result as well for the third judge. 
But look, both of these guys can walk away from this one with their heads held high, in my opinion. This was a bout that you just wouldn't see from amateurs of this level in this country 10 years ago. The level of both of these guys, very well representative of the camps they both fight out of. Yeah, it wasn't like a stalemate or anything. They were both threatening the submission. They were both actively looking for the finish, and they were close, both of them, a couple of times. So, yeah, I think you're right, Brad. It definitely shows a good, well-rounded game and a dangerous part of their game, especially this early on in their careers. And, you know, with a fight this close as well, you can only hope that at some point down the line they may be rematched for an amateur title or even when they uh, break into the pro ranks. I'd, I'd certainly watch another three rounds of those. Yeah, together. for sure. Yeah, it's a shame they don't have more time tonight here. But... Um, both got to show off the grappling. I'm sure Joe is very happy with that. Moves up to two and one now as an amateur. And Zaman, one and one. Same position as Joe going into this one. So 